so we did um, yeah. cell release last time. Yeah. yeah. Breathwork and cell release. What my experience has been uh, quite a, a transformational. I had, uh, I did a session with her, um, I guess it was uh, a while back, not so long ago, maybe, maybe a year ago, the yeah, first one. about a year. About yeah. a year. It was very, uh, it was very, very deep. It, it brought, it felt like I exploded into uh, a place of, uh, of clarity that I had never, hadn't really touched in my life before. Did it center you? Well, it, it really, it, it centered me into a place of clarity that I felt uh, really clear about. And uh, it sort of broke, th I felt that she broke through a lot of illusion that I was, I was lost in. And I got very clear. Wow. Yeah. Have you ever achieved anything similar to it uh, with the use of uh, uh, any psychedelics, for instance? Um, no, I don't think so. I think it was much more real, the work that I did with, that we did together, that she helped facilitate opening for me. It felt like it was really in my body, as opposed to getting out <clears throat> of my body. And I think that the, the work with psychedelics is so, it, it spaces you, and you're unearthed. And I think that uh, we are here, so why not get here? Why miss the birth? Another way. Yeah, really, <laughs> you fully know, why land, miss the, yeah, really... fully landing is seems to be what is what it's all about. You know, and getting high doesn't seem to be really where it's at. That's being what, in your body does. Yeah, being in your body does, and you know, it hurts. So what? Well, it, the, it, it hurts. That basically, what you're dealing with with the cell release points is armoring. You're dissolving armoring. Uh, and what I look at armoring is as basically uh, unfelt, unprocessed emotion that congeals, <laughs> gets uh -huh. stiff. You know, so the the hurt basically is going here. You're you're armored here. Here, look at this. You're armored here, and it all has to do with with uh, experiences that were traumatic uh, sometime in your life that uh, basically made a person shut down and go numb, uh, go away from their experience, that part of their experience. So this is about bringing awareness and, and uh, life, or life energy is already there, but to bring consciousness to that part of yourself. So to get into your body, without the use of drugs. Could you explain that a little bit? To get into your body without the use of yeah, drugs? You're, you're, well, basically that's what I, was, what I was just talking about. What allows you not to be in your body is, are the experiences that, uh, that are emotionally uh, traumatic and they're the, so, that, so that there's like a, a general feeling in your body that makes you want to go away from it. There's like a uncomfort, a general anxiety, a general discomfort. That uh, there's a, there's a desire to get away from that feeling, and that's where all the addictions come from. Or is wanting to get away from that general feeling tone. When you start doing uh, breath work and, and a cell release, basically what you're doing is you're processing and releasing the very stuff that makes you want to go away in the first place. So that then there, there is a desire to, to be present in your body and there's just an automatic dropping into your body and an automatic experience, mm -hmm. a, a deeper experience of being here and being present. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I experienced. I experienced a breakthrough for me in, in being here. And I was able, to, for me, I was working through an issue where I was saying yes, 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 and I really wanted to say no, but I couldn't find the no, and I found the no. And I feel it really, it changed everything for me, getting the big no. It was a big no. I got a hold of the big no. <laughs> <laughs> and no, and it felt great, and everything shifted for me, right? Instead of pleasing everyone, and being good, and being nice, and, you know, taking care of, and 
right? Yeah. Yeah. And it was just very profound for me. It felt really authentic, like I found an authentic no. And things shifted very dramatically. And, you know, it was a karmic spin of energy. And, uh, and it, it, it had a lot to do with death. It was death. Because death, life comes from death. And so we, we need to let go of the past in order to be in this moment. Mm -hmm. You see? And there's some false security of hanging on to ways that don't work anymore. Or maybe it's just growing up, you know? Whatever that means. You know, maybe just in process, right? Or, I don't know. But maybe it's just searching in the wrong direction for the bliss, right? Yeah. It's the bliss that we know exists, we're just searching in the wrong direction. By, by letting go, did you feel younger? Yeah. Yeah, I felt, yeah, exactly. I, so in, by growing up, I felt younger, in a way. Like for being, you know, for standing in, in, in clarity of a situation that I had to deal with and looking at it, right, in, an, in, a, in, a, in a way that was, it, it just felt really like clear. It was obvious what to do because I was dealing with what felt right, what I was feeling, not what I was thinking. I had thought about the feeling and overrode the feeling. I got to a feel. I got to an, an, a, a real feel. A real feeling. Yeah, just a real feeling. And it's like, God, like how simple and yet how profound. How could I be so far away from it? Right? I mean, it just seemed extraordinary. Well, there's a lot of distance between. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, uh. Well, that's, you know, I, what I've noticed, too, in doing this work um, is that there's a lot of confusion about what a feeling is and what a thought is. And uh, many people confuse feeling with thinking. They think they're feeling... Well, let me think about what I'm feeling. I hear that a lot. Mm -hmm. you, well, you can't think about what you're feeling. You feel what you're feeling. So it's like a translation happens or just a confusion because uh, the mind doesn't know jack about feeling. Mm -hmm. it's, two, it's two different domains. Your thoughts actually get to be manifested in our bodies. That's why we call them feelings. It's releasing the, ma the manifested energy that... That's what you're helping with. Is, isn't that true? The manifest feeling? Well, you're releasing that tense, locked-up energy. Right. Yeah. And, and the story that's connected with it. Yeah. There's always a story that's connected with it. Yeah. Well, why is that? Why is there always a story? Well, there's, a, there's an event uh -huh. to begin with. And then there's like, usually there's a constellation of events anyway, and in any, in any single point there's more than one event that you're processing oh. with the same general theme, same general emotionality. But it has a story, you know, it has a, a theme, it has a char cast of characters, oh. it has a script uh, that one identifies with, uh, and that is the source of misery, uh, is identification with that script, with that story. So oh. when, you're, uh, when the points are activated with your breath, what you're able to do, because what breath does is allow you to have that alignment where body, mind, heart lines up with spirit, you're able to hear the story, uh, experience how it feels emotionally, how it feels sensorily, but also you know that none of that is who you are. You know, so that, that that's when integration happens. You're no longer identified with that as, that's who I am. Mm -hmm. It becomes, oh, that's something that happened to me. That's a structure that I've acquired, but it's not the blueprint of me. It's not the bottom line of me. It's not the core of me. It's a layer, a layer to be released. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what, what gets released are fears? Well, it all can sort of simmer down to fear, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Can look like mad, look like sad, look like. Is any there like feeling. a primal? Do you think there's a primal feeling? Yeah, fear. That they all fear. Yeah, yeah fear. Like it all comes out of fear. Yeah. And is it fear of death? 
Yeah, or fear fear of not being connected, not being part of God, you know. And the first statement of the ego is, I am alone. And that is very fearful. Uh-huh. That produces fear, just like that. Mm. I am alone. Mm-hmm. So then it's me against everything else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so uh, these are also uh, ways of releasing that ego structure that um, says I'm alone and in that process and what you feel is your connection to yourself to everyone else to the planet to God I mean it's all we feel our connection instead of our fear and separation could you could you explain a little of, of your experience of the rebirthing of the, of the whole technique and then what what it felt to go through that is there any is there anything that you could be specific with well, going into the experience, there was a lot of fear because the person who was in the room before me was screaming <laughs> and they were really screaming like she was really hurting them. And so I was going to go into this room and get hurt by this really like, you know what I mean? Like there, there was a mean mommy thing and there was like, I was a little boy and I was going to like, you know what I mean? Like I was punished, go, I was going to get punished or uh. something. I didn't, you know. It brought up a lot of primal feelings, you know, and I was afraid. And yet I went, you know, yeah, because of the sounds coming out of the room, right? (laughs) Yes. She was going to eat me. (laughs) Well, you, you mentioned fear of death. Have you had that? Of course. Have you I've been? loved it, but I, I've always kind of courted the fear of death. I've always enjoyed being close to death. Like when I surfed and when I would swim way out. I always swim way out in the ocean. I was a long-distance swimmer when I was young. That was my, that's what I did, was swam as far out in the ocean as I could swim. And then just swam up and down the coast for hour after hour. Yeah. And so I knew that it was, the water was really deep, you know, and I love the adrenaline rush of being close to death and being, you know, that vulnerable. I really got off on it. I felt alive. I felt alive. So it had a feeling of that going into the session, of swimming out in the ocean, you know, with you. It felt like that, that I was swimming out in the ocean. And um, the body sensation that I guess you call it trigger points that you were working on were very painful. And yet it really was an actual memory was like stuck there. And it got released. And the screaming actually feels good, doesn't it? I mean, at least... It felt really good. Yeah, it felt really good. It was like it was okay. It was like I had permission to really scream like really hard and really feel it hurt and really feel the hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it felt really good. It felt really good.